Have you ever wondered what it's like to fight a pro female boxer? Well, today, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. First of all, handy tool, defibrillator. I've got a strong feeling I'm probably gonna need it. And I'm already getting laughed at. I am Becky Ferguson, I'm 32 from Stoke-on-Trent. Uh, I am a single mum to two children, Cassian and Sienna, who are actually in the gym, ready to watch this beautiful thing about to happen. And yeah, I've been professional just over two years now. Um, I'm happy to fight anyone, anywhere, so I'll go on the road and I'm just enjoying it and seeing how far I can get on my journey. Here she is. You alright, babe? Scott's not here, darling. You can say hi to Dan and everyone that's watching, though. Why don't you say hi? <laughs> Brave, brave man for, for stepping up to the mark. I am a happy, happy challenger to take on for the women just to prove that women can spar. We can box. We can probably knock people out as well. We'll soon find out. But yeah, uh, good luck today, Dan. And I love you regardless, but game on. Just to be nominated for such an achievement from the background that I've come from, like white collar background with like four or five fights previously before my pro career. Um, I never dreamed of ever being even nominated for something like that. So yeah, to be nominated was amazing. And then to actually get the award, um, it, it's literally sitting in my kitchen, like on the windowsill. So every morning when I get up and I go downstairs, it's the first thing that I see, just to remind myself of how well I'm doing. And yeah, dreams can come true and I'm, I'm chasing mine. And that was one of the ones I never thought I'd actually ever get. So, and I've got that. So who knows what else I'll achieve. I hope you're ready, Dan. I hope you're really ready and um, you know, bring the best version of Dan because I'm here because I'm ready to, I, I should have been fighting and I'm not fighting now. So I've got a lot of frustration to game on, get the gloves on and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> More Mr. Watts in there. I want Alton Drell at his funeral. Instantly knocked my mic off. What a fail. Uh, yeah, I felt like I struggled. Struggled not to laugh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. No, you did well, Dan. Uh, full credit to you. And um, yeah, we'll have to do it again sometime, but more rounds next time. Did you feel you did, Dan? Dan? Well, I'll be honest, it was, it, it was hard for me old back. Uh, there could be in any point there where I could have clearly knocked her out clean, but I understand she's a lady 
and I'm uh, an alpha male, so I found it pretty hard to hold it back. Uh, she did make out that she caught me with something clean, but uh, I was letting her, do you know what I mean? So, uh, no, I'm absolutely knackered, and I uh, will not be doing that again anytime soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.